Arib was a truly good person with a diverse and very interesting personality with so much to discover. He had a special humor as one could see in his tagline on social media. Coda, introvert, gruelingly boring. He wasn't an introvert when he worked on software. He shared his knowledge with the world openly and freely. He wanted to make the world a better place. He helped so many to learn how to use and develop technologies. He was an amazing person, a brilliant developer. I wanted to talk to him many times and ask him to change his tagline. I thought it was just not correct. That is not him. But I also thought this is his way and idea to show himself. So I never asked him to change it. I had the chance to meet him only a few times in person. I always hoped we would have an opportunity to live together in the same city for some time. And then I can get to know him better. We were building a friendship while we have worked together since 2017. Over the last two years, we communicated usually several times nearly each day. He was working very hard, extremely hard, and we both shared a passion for the projects we worked on together. I could send him a message at any time, and to my surprise, he responded right away, even at 2 a.m. I asked him to take some time off, but when he traveled somewhere, he still responded to questions of other developers from his phone. He was so supportive to everyone. He was a straightforward person, but respectful of people in his communication. It is sometimes difficult for me to find the right words in discussions with developers from India and all around the world. But with Arib it was all possible. He could always make things work. Arib achieved to create an amazingly efficient collaborative environment where developers and community contributors could thrive and where we could build something together that was valued by thousands around the world. Some of the most outstanding developers in the world used what Arib built. When they joined our online event just a month ago, it was amazing. It was really good. It was, I think it was a good feeling for Arib too. And Arib was a fighter for free speech, for privacy, for justice and democracy. He didn't do it with big words. Sometimes he shared his views online, but mostly he tried to change the world more through his actions and work in the open source and free software community. The memes and cartoons he shared often had a sarcastic touch and I believe this gave him strength to continue despite a lot of injustices that happened in his home country India and around him personally. Once he shared a photo of Modi with uh, Shah Rukh and Amir Khan and he wrote best actor of India with Shah Rukh and Amir Khan. It made me laugh. 
but at the same time the laughter got stuck in my throat when I thought about politics in India and what he has to cope with. But this was the humor of Arib. He wasn't as geeky as he might have appeared to some. <laughs> Only today I saw his post of his computer from last month with colorful blinking lights. He liked to learn about the world, watch and read about science, nature and humanity. Besides all the scientific and political literature, he also liked a book with a love story though with a love story with a challenge. And he also liked all the Harry Potter books. While I never saw any attempt of him dancing, I know that he liked Indian music, Bollywood, Elvis Presley and even Enrique Iglesias. Our tastes of music weren't so different, but now we will never have the chance to enjoy, enjoy them together. Traveling was difficult for him as he had to deal with corrupt and bureaucratic administration in his city. So he couldn't even get travel documents easily. And when he was finally getting a passport the pandemic made it impossible for us to meet again in Singapore. But I'm grateful that I had the chance to meet Arib one time in Hyderabad and in Delhi and spend time with him. Last year we organized the Open Tech Summit India as a small event in Delhi and we discussed our plans for the future. He was getting on board He was getting on board as a full-time developer with Force Asia and we discussed our ideas to make projects into their own open source companies even. Arib was too young to leave us. For many years we were working with different people and great developers in the community but to find Arib with such a strong dedication and understanding of technology and logic, this was a once in a lifetime lucky chance. Arib wanted to go further and build an example of a technology project and company that is doing real good. He wanted to prove he wanted to prove that his and our ideas to create a free and respecting and sharing world is possible. Arib, you are leaving a huge gap. We will miss you forever. <laughs>